that's it. And we are up at the start for the heat of the Princess Elizabeth Challenge Cup. We have Hamilton Boys High School from New Zealand against St George's College. As always, a noisy, loud, fierce start. And the Hamilton Boys crew are, have had incredible results back home and have come over. And a lot, I've had a lot of people talking this morning. Have you seen? Yeah, we're interested to see this race. We want to see the Hamilton Boys High School. Let's see how fast they are. Are they going to be taking on the best of the British schools? And they are already putting in a fairly fierce start against St George's College. Yeah, both crews were out pretty fast. You could hear all the noise and the clanking of the riggers and the oars getting into the water. And now it looks as though they're getting into that point where they're going to start to stretch out and really establish their rhythm throughout the race. So right now, uh, St. George's College is going to have to hold on and see, like, can they, can they hold on to that lead that's been uh, established by Hamilton? So here we can see on the right-hand side of our screen, the Hamilton Boys High School from New Zealand. And a huge welcome to any Anyone watching and supporting this crew. I uh, hope you're enjoying the coverage. We're delighted to have the Hamilton Boys School High School racing for us uh, as part of Henny Royal Regatta. They were winners of the Mardi Cup, which is the schoolboy eights event at the New Zealand National Championships. They are national champions who are coming overseas to take on the best of the British schools that are here as well. And they are pretty dominant. Yeah, I mean, you can see that boat just being sent down down the river uh, you can see the cox and look look around there uh, you'll we'll see if he established the call for the for the young men to lengthen out a little bit uh, but they got off to a blistering start Jack Ramsey at bow, John T. McIntosh, Corbin Campbell, Winston Roberts, William Mill, Ethan Stain, Zachary Brownlee, Dylan McConnell, Cox by Ryan Ollington, and coached by Bruce Holden, who won a silver medal for New Zealand in the Cox Four at the Nottingham World Rowing Championships in 1986. Uh, so a man coached by a man with some British racing connections there, who's come back uh, over here with his brilliant crew. Yeah, and an interesting shot that we just saw there was they have a double bucket. So they Tell have us what that means. The, the double bucket, that means you have two sets of rowers rowing on the same side, one behind the other. And uh, I, I'm interested to get into the head of the coach as to, to why he made this decision. But, you know, I can see for rhythm, you have a rower that is needs to row behind another rower, and it really helps to establish the rhythm of the boat and set the pace. So you can see they're at two and three. They're both on stroke side, and then immediately in front at four and five on bow side. It's to do with physics. It's to do with balancing the strengths of your crew, the technique of your crew. And that's the, the alchemy. The, the you know, That's what the coaches have to experiment and think about how can I get these eight boys to get this boat as fast as possible. And there are these options of different seating arrangements, different orders, and, and playing around uh, with where each each oar is, is set up. And the St. George's College crew there on the Buck Station, we have Noah Croft, John Carter, Blake Cook, Callum Heath, Alfie Adriano, Benjamin Winfield, James Condu, Jonathan Butler, Cox by James Kent, coached by Thomas Cannon, who's only recently joined them in uh, 2023, and they all love his golden retriever, Ted. Um, they have, you know, come up against one of the best school boy crews in the world. And uh, that's pretty tough when uh, they will have come through the qualifiers on Friday as well, and they've come up against a, a favored crew. But they will be giving their all. What an incredible experience to be part of Hen Henley Royal Regatta, to have qualified, and to be here racing some of the world's best in this event on the first day. Yeah, you know, this is the first Henley Royal Regatta for this crew, uh, for all of the members of this crew. And what a wonderful experience and opportunity to race in this race and to gain that experience. And as I said, you want to come back for more. So I'm hoping that we'll see these young men again and that they'll continue to race hard and train hard. Absolutely. What an experience to be part of this, to be rubbing shoulders with yeah, all the best uh, that there is in our sport in the boat tents and coming out to race on this iconic course on this slightly overcast, blustery uh, first day of Henley Royal Regatta 2024, their biggest entry ever with more international entries than ever. And part of that international entry is the Hamilton Boys High School. Yeah, and they have rode a great race, extremely uh, technically well done, uh, powerful and efficient. And now they are sending out a big signal in this event. 
as we now see the Hamilton Boys High School New Zealand win their heat of the Princess Elizabeth Challenge Cup against their opposition who fought valiantly down the course, having brilliantly qualified to race today in St George's College.